a load of how big the roots are. It's kind of ironic that we're, we're actually digging up loose strife and putting it in pots and trying to encourage it to grow and flourish so the beetles can eat it because normally we're just trying to eradicate it. Invasive plants are notoriously difficult to manage and control. Biocontrol is just another way of trying to control the invasive species and I personally find it really interesting because instead of just digging something up, um, you actually get to try and play with the predator-prey relationships. The beetles are being bred and raised in a tent at Burnaby Lake Regional Park. After placing the beetles in the tent, the next step is to simply let them breed and grow. After that, more loose strife will be harvested when it's in bloom and when the larvae are hatching and hungry for food. And then finally, the adults will be released into regional parks where populations of loose strife have been mapped out. Part of our roles as stewardship technician is identifying it, going out there, mapping it, recording it, and then organizing a way of controlling and managing the invasive species, whether it's with volunteers or with, with a contractor or, or with park staff. And there is no shortage of volunteers ready to lend a helping hand. It allows you to give back to the community in a way that I think a lot of people really want to. So it allows you to restore and enhance habitat so you're doing good things for the ecosystems and wildlife as well as enhancing the opportunities for recreational users and other people in the parks to be able to really enjoy those spaces. If the public's interested in volunteering at one of our events, they can go to meetup.com, search Regional Parks Connect, and on there are listed a bunch of uh, volunteer projects that they can help us out with. Yeah, so check it out.